Traffic psychology. Rolf and Gator 1997 defined traffic psychology as the study of psychological processes behind the behavior of road users. The aim of this is to develop effective countermeasures against accidents. It relies on the development of functional control models and motivational models and it has a degree of risk taking and risk acceptance. Traffic psychologists seek to train, enforce better driving and rehabilitate traffic offenders. They also seek to explain the relationship between accidents and behavior. Traffic psychologists are needed because accidents kill or severely maim many road users. In 2019 alone, 251 people have lost their lives. There has been an increase in serious injuries due to the implementation of more safety features, which has decreased the number of deaths. As of 2019, from January to August, 22 in New South Wales didn't wear seatbelts. 15% of accidents involved alcohol and 15.6% involved fatigue, as well as 36.6% involved excessive speeding. The main goal is to reach zero deaths, to reduce fatality and injury. Traffic psychologists introduce concepts like situational awareness and mental workload. They put together a conceptual framework of safe driving behavior by researchers like Stretcher V et al. 2007, Road Safety Research Report number 70. Frameworks are a means of illustrating the interconnections between factors that influence behavior, incorporating various theories and subdisciplines. Statistically, Australia has five road deaths per 100,000 people, according to the International road traffic and accident database. The Northern Territory has four times the national road death rate. This is because the Northern Territory has poor road infrastructure, longer travel distances, thus uh, the injured person needs to wait longer for medical attention. Higher speed limits at 130 kilometers an hour, higher rates of alcohol consumption, and lower rates of wearing seat belts. Traffic psychologists focus on fatalities because they are the most detailed and reliable statistics collected and incur consequences such as insurance, litigation, etc. Reliable statistics are useful for producing accurate models. Traffic psychologists have compiled an accident pyramid which places near the bottom unsafe acts and near misses. Towards the top, there are injuries ranging from minor to severe, and there are fatalities on top. All accidents share common root causes of unsafe acts like alcohol consumption, driving in rain or fog, or texting while driving, etc. What demographic of road users are more likely to die in New South Wales. Mostly, male drivers aged between 17 to 25 make up 26% of driving fatalities, despite making only 13% of the population. Moving to Pease presents uh, the most dangerous time in driving. Young people are twice as likely as older age groups to die in a traffic collision. This may be due to developmental factors since the prefrontal cortex is still developing, which regulates attention, impulse control, and multitasking, for example. Young drivers are vulnerable because they lack experience, which produces poorer decision making. 60 to 79 year olds also make up a large demographic, but that is due to their frailty, which means any crash tends to be fatal. Older drivers may also have impaired vision, cognition, attention. Around 70, they are not good at judging gaps. What can be done to reduce accidents? The 1970s became a peak in the number of deaths on the roads in Australia. Victoria that same year introduced compulsory seatbelts. New South Wales followed suit in 1971. Fatality was reduced as seatbelt wearing increased. In 1982, the random breath test RBT was introduced to reduce alcohol consumption on roads. 
In 1991, speed cameras were introduced. By 2000, the graduate licensing scheme was introduced. All of these interventions had significant backlash, opponents believing that this was an infringement on their rights. Factors to consider include human error, which was found to be the number one cause of crashes since distractions accounted for 68% of accidents on the road, according to Dingus et al. 2016. Drivers need to consider if both their mind and eyes are on the road. Human error is made by everyone. Conditions in driving need to be changed to remediate this error according to Reason 1990. High speed also predicted fatality, with 45% of fatal crashes occurring in 100 km per hour or over uh, speeds. 12% of fatalities occurred in speed zones of 50 km or under. Speed increases the risk of a crash happening exponentially. James Reason introduced the taxonomy of errors or human malfunctions, which included classified different unsafe driving behaviors according to different severity levels. Unsafe actions include intended actions which involved intended non-compliance, speeding, burnouts, and hooning. Unintended actions included error types like lapse in memory, mistakes in knowledge, or rules or slips including distractions and attentional failures. Psychological factors that affect driving include alcohol and the consumption of other drugs, testosterone or other hormones, as well as fatigue, which makes it hard for people to measure distance, and thus crashes tend to occur at low points of the circadian cycle. Also stress is another factor. Late night driving tends to be dark, making it difficult to see. And it is also dangerous because individuals usually have fatigue and more alcohol consumption. Cognitive factors include issues in attention and distraction narrows vision creating tunnel vision. There are social factors that affect driving including an increased fatal crash risk due to having multiple passengers and peer pressure to do more stupid stuff. Perceptual factors these include driving in the fog and rain which reduces visibility since the light of headlight beams reflect or are refracted or are absorbed by uh, the water molecules. There is the presence of backscatter which makes it hard to see obstacles. Also rain and fog reduce contrast. Fog makes objects appear to move slower than they really are. There is also the size speed illusion which is where Vehicles like trains are judged to be moving slower than their actual speed due to their uh, size or mass. In review, we covered the aims and trends of traffic psychologists, the safe driving behavior framework, Northern Territory causes of fatalities, the accident pyramid, demographics of fatalities, interventions used to reduce accidents, and various factors to consider like human error, reasons taxonomy of errors, psychological, social, cognitive, and perceptual factors that influence uh, driving and accidents. Ultimately, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to check out my other applied psychology videos. Bye bye